What's up, Mr. Sox here, and today we're going to be doing the fifth episode of my new series, Going to Dark Knight. Uh, this is not too many more than the fifth episode. So today we're going to be going to be covering the fifth SMG you unlock, which is the Pharaoh. This Pharaoh, it, it's an overall really okay SMG. It's not very good at close range, but it thrives at medium to long range. And that is because it's a four burst SMG, and it takes a little while in the first burst to fire the second, the third burst. Uh, or the, the next burst, that's what I should say, the next burst, that's what you And, and when you're at close range, you don't have that kind of time, because the enemy could be using a Vesper, a BMP, or some other weird fast guy. Excuse me. That could really be faster. But for the recommended class setup on this thing, I would recommend using no sight, because the, the Pyro's iron sights are actually pretty okay. You can use this hey if you want, but that's just kind of one of the only thing you don't need. Uh, but I would use the quick draw, the rapid fire, and the fast mags on this thing. I would recommend ghost, overclock, scavenger, and tack mask. I would recommend ghost just to help stay alive on the block. Overclock, you get special ability, which I'll recommend in a second. And then I recommend scavenger to get more ammo. Tack mask again, so you don't get um, flash. Bang, shock charge, or lethal. I mean, no, tactical. No, it's done. It's done like that. And so you can stay alive longer. And then I would recommend using combat focus special stability because that helps you get four streaks faster. And then you can, then you can just get those four streaks rolling over and over and keep doing this good. But that's been it for today. Anyway. Wait, no, it has. I'm forgetting something. What about the challenges you say? Well, there's the hundred headshots, which I recommend just. Looking for AFK players, hitting them in the head, or play hardcore, or use concussions, concussions, and concussions, and or, the thing you can do is use Heatwave, which I've recently found, I recently found, which is very helpful. You Heatwave them, and you use them, because they're still there for 3 or 4 seconds, and that's it. And then the other challenge is 50 kills with no attachments, and the 50 kills with the optic and five attachments, they're both very simple, you have to go play gaming. Blood Thirsty, you just have to play, and maybe work them over time, but then you don't have to play, and then that leaves. I don't think that leaves anything actually. That's been it for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time in the next Road to Dark Matter episode. Mr. Socks out.